Well, I think one of the most interesting thing is really some of the patient engagement tools. And again, what remains to be seen is whether the kind of things that work that to motivate people to run, motivate people to walk, motivate people to do all sorts of exercise, and having that remote tracking of, of their progress and the gamification aspects of it, whether that actually is going to make a real impact on people with diabetes, with heart disease, um, you know, with other, you know, other chronic medical conditions, um, and really lower the cost of care. Well, I think a lot of the, the sensor technology is really exciting, so taking some of the human elements out of things. Um, uh, a lot of the work so far has been self-reporting of different types of conditions. Increasingly, we're going to shift that to biometrics, to, uh, to sensors, which will give us a much more accurate read on, on what is happening uh, physiologically with people and, and their health. Well, in terms of the technologies at this event, um, I think our Games for Health Pavilion is one of the newest additions to the floor. Um, we also have um, inside of some of the companies like Verizon, um, 40 plus companies that are working with the carriers to deliver mobile health applications. I'm, I'm really interested in seeing sort of like where standard type things are going, data standards. Um, I know that sounds really lame and sort of dry, but it's those kind of interoperability standards where I can send pedometer pedometer data to a health record or I could grab biometric information from a health record that I think are the platforms around which games are going to coalesce around in these areas. Most interesting are, are technologies that enable different types of care. Right? We've been doing a lot of using technology to improve the way that I as a doctor I can have a more efficient visit with you as a patient. There are technologies that allow me to say, look, you don't need to come to my office. Um, you know, you know, you can be at home. We can have an interaction that way. Or, for example, if you need to have to see someone, you know, to, to actually do stuff to you, maybe we send a health coach, you know, some fit guy in a tracksuit with a with a tablet to your house to run through stuff, give you give you education, check in with me if we need to get checked in. Um, but new ways of delivering care that are, you know, provide better service, better quality, lower cost, um, and are more patient-centered. It's what you, what you want as opposed to something that's much more convenient for me. And then some of the behavior change work uh, and messaging and multimedia experiences that can help people course correct and or, you know, prevent uh, getting sick in the first place.